Hey everybody over at Movies.com, it is the Schmoes No Movie Show, I'm Christian. And I am Mark. Christian, slinging into theaters this weekend is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's a sequel and it's one that I think a lot of people get excited about because Spider-Man's very popular, right. the first movie was good. Yeah, it's a rebooted franchise, but now this is the sequel to the rebooted franchise. And there, there have been a lot of sequel mentions out there, sequel hopefuls. So we started thinking, here are the top five sequels that we would like to see. That's right. Now look, we're obviously very excited about Star Wars Episode 7, but that's been announced already, as has an Incredibles film, yeah. and even a Beetlejuice sequel. Yeah. That's something that would have been on the list. Yeah, there is. There's a couple of rumors flying around here and there about other ones that may or may not, not appear on this list. Coming in at number five, Mark, what do you got? Mannequin Part 2. No. Oh, that already got made? Okay. Then let's go with Old School 2. It was one of the funniest comedies of the 2000s, and I think that Will Ferrell, Luke Wilson, and Vince Vaughn are all still in their prime as far as being able to play these characters. I don't know if I'm going to agree with you as far as prime goes. I think that this is probably, that it could help them out and bring them back and give them like that one last hit, like where Holyfield got into the ring and knocked someone out, going, whoa, he's still got a little <laughs> bit left. I think that's what this movie would prove. I would like to see where these characters are. I just feel you might suffer from an anchor. Anchorman 2 thing where it's just more about the jokes. I thought like, Anchorman 2 was I hysterical. At it, but it's still, but again, it wasn't a great movie, but it was funny. Okay. Um, all right, number four is a movie that you didn't necessarily like. Mm -hmm. I loved it. I think it's got a cult following. Didn't do great in the box office. Dread 2. I'd love to see a sequel to Dread. Yeah, you know, you know what I think is handicapping Dread right now is besides the fact that I guess some other people felt like I did because it didn't do that well at the box yeah. office is that this movie, The Raid, is out now and The Raid 2 are just, they just take people over and they see these movies and the plot line was so similar to Dread that I yeah. think people just want to see more raids than another Dread. Uh, see, I don't know. I just think that people had not seen... I think because that Stallone movie was so bad yeah. that it left a stink in people's uh, mouth. I think that this movie... It was it was really well done. Carl Urban really pulled off Dread very well, and I love the way it was shot. I'd like to see it. There was a campaign for it, so maybe we'll see a part two. Okay, well, because Stallone ruined the Dread franchise, according to you, then we're not going to put Rambo 5 on this list. Coming in at number three is something that I think a lot of people have been dying for since 1986. We want to see what happened to Maverick in Top Gun. Talk about rumors flying around. Yeah. This one has been flying around a lot. This and Goonies is another one, but uh, mm -hmm. but this one is one. Yeah, well, is, there was rumors that he could be a, a flight instructor. He'd be the new of, Tom Scarry. Yeah, that would be cool. And to see who knew the new hotshot pilots were supposed to do one, but then Tony Scott passed away. So. Who knows if we'll ever see Maverick back, but that would be a cool one to see. They better bring back the Top Gun theme with Steve Stevens on guitar, and then if they want to bring back Kelly McGillis, I don't care. So now here's one at number two that has been rumored a lot and nothing quite yet put in the stones. That is Blade Runner 2, the classic <laughs> sci-fi film that people loved. Uh, part two, they're, they're talking about it, so whether or not Harrison Ford, Harrison Ford's coming back for Star Wars. Mm -hmm. He might come back for Indiana Jones, so we may see him come back in in uh, Blade Runner 2. Well, Blade Runner came out in 1982. Top Gun, by the way, 1986, directed by Tony Scott. Blade Runner, directed by his brother Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott is still around a kick and he's been saying that he always kind of wanted to do something else in the Blade Runner universe. Now, is he going to do something else in the Alien universe? Is there going to be another Prometheus before we get another Blade Runner? Right. These are all kind of questions up in the air. And speaking of directors who have a lot on their plate right now, the guy who directed the film at number one is going to be a little tied up for a while, too. That would be Mr. Christopher Nolan, and we're talking about Inception, maybe part two. Yeah, it's, it's so hard for me to... like Listen, I really love Inception. It's one of my favorite movies of all time, not just in the last couple of years. And Did the top stop spinning? I mean, I think I know the answer to that. And I'll just take this... Don't tell... Don't, I'm, I'm just taking looking. my wedding ring. I'm just taking it off. I'm putting what? It, I'm going what does your wedding ring have to do with the top and Inception? Pay attention to the plot of the movie. Uh, but that being said, there's something about the mystery behind it that if I don't know mm -hmm. if I ever want to know. But then again, going back and revisiting that world and watching where Cobb went and what happened and getting an answer to that question could be very intriguing and a lot of fun. Okay, how about we combine the Expendables and Inception just like the Expendables break into some dude's dreams? Oh, I like it. Hundred million dollar idea. That's our list and I'm sure that there's a lot of honorable mentions out there. From every corner of the universe, you're going to have comedy, drama, action, horror. We all want to see what happens. How about another Jaws movie? Mm -hmm. Huh? Scott Pilgrim 2? Scott Pilgrim 2 would be very, very cool. That could be a good one. So, and maybe the Grey 2. Did he beat that wolf? Anyway, so those that's the list that we have. How about you guys? What did you want to see? Comment in the section below and tell us what sequels do you really want to see? Well, you can see one this Friday in theaters. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 starring... Andrew Garfield, Jamie Foxx, Paul Giamatti, Dane DeHaan, Emma Stone. There's a lot of people in this movie. Yeah, and then you can see Walk of Shame. No. We'll see you in Spider-Man 2, everybody. Yeah.